Okay. And then hello everyone, we're streaming from Facebook as well as in Zoom. So I am gonna be focusing on Zoom and the Zoom chat like first and foremost. So if you're on Facebook, you can say, hey, in the comments there and I'll check it after the show. You can also hashtag replay if you're catching us on the replay. And I wanna make sure that I'm also streaming public. So maybe my beautiful VA can just double check that it is you now public on my Facebook page because we've had issues with Facebook just doing whatever it wants in the past. And that is very interesting. Um, so today we are doing the amazing masterclass on how to increase your impact and income in the world. I'm super excited to dive right into this amazing content. We're really going to clarify some of the gaps between where you're at now and where you desire to be in your business, in your life, in co-creating the most like amazing experience that's in your heart, especially with like 2021 energy coming in where we get to like build on everything that we've done so far in our world and continue to like co-create magic with everyone in our lives. So we're going to go into the seven common gaps between where you're at and where you desire to be. The most common ones that I see in light workers, coaches, healers, those kind of amazing beings in the world. We're also going to do several healing downloads throughout to support you guys in exactly where you're at in your life and your business right now. And also doing an activation of abundance and like a deep dive healing towards the end as well, because I love, love, love supporting you guys in any stage of where you're at right now. And I'm Laura McPhee. If you're brand new to me in my world, I am a joyful goddess, speaker, healer, and coach. And I love to support other light workers and shining their light and sharing that light with the world and increasing their impact and income and really supporting everyone to really like be the change that they're here to be in the world as well. So I'm super excited for today's amazing masterclass. I'm going to do a little bit of pleasure first, first, just to get everyone grounded and our bodies and feeling really good. Because I'm also about like ease, speed, grace, joy, and love and pleasure and doing this in a fun new paradigm way instead of the old paradigm where it might have been hard or slow or suffering or self-sacrifice, all those other things. It's like we get to release those old paradigm ways and choose the new. So I'm super excited to start with some pleasure first. So if you guys want to shut your eyes and take some deep cleansing breaths and just scan the top of your body moving down and bringing awareness to your body right now and just breathing deeply into any places that you might feel some like dis-ease some resistance some stress or tension just breathing into those places And bringing awareness to your breath as soon as you're done scanning your body. Just noticing how you're breathing right now in this moment. And then shifting that breath to inhale for six. And then exhale for six. And you can count your six. So inhaling for your count of six. And exhaling for six. And we'll do that one more time. And then you can put awareness onto your feet. So get your feet touching flat on the ground. And then visualize roots coming out of your feet, coming out of your toes, going down, down, down into Mother Earth energy. Go 
going deep into the core of Mother Earth and then pulling that beautiful Mother Earth energy back up through your roots, through your legs, through your chakras, and then out through the top of your head, and that energy moving up in a beautiful column of light, bright light, iridescent white light energy through the top of your head, connecting you to the clouds, through the solar system, through the ether, connecting you to your higher power. And with every inhale, you're pulling that Mother Earth energy up through your roots, through your body, through the top of your head. And every exhale, you're receiving unconditional love down through the ethers, through the column of light, through to the top of your head and through your body down to Mother Earth. And just feel that energy moving through your body. Inhale, inhaling it up. And exhaling it down. Oh. Allowing yourself to receive even more of it in your body. And then slowly moving your body in any way that feels good. So if that's rolling your shoulders, you can do that. Just moving your neck back and forth. Just giving your body a stretch. Just allowing your body to move, tuning into what's feeling good in this present moment. And then following that inspired action, that flow that your body naturally takes you on. You can rub your hands together if you want to make more energy in your body, more heat. You can massage your body if that's feeling nice. Massage your neck or your shoulders. Do light touches or deeper massaging touches. <sighs> Just really being in your body. And you can move that touch around to the rest of your body. You can caress any place that feels good. Being mindful of your breath with these touches now. So touching your legs, your hips, anything that's feeling nice for you. And finally, you can move your hands to your heart. Bring in love and gratitude for your heart that's always beating, that's always here for you. Oh, breathing into even more love for yourself. Love for showing up, for receiving what this call is about to bring you. Oh, being grateful for who you are, who you're being in this world. And then setting an intention for this call, what you're ready to receive, what you're desiring to step into, whatever's feeling good, just trusting whatever's coming up is for your best and highest good. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Mm, I 
if you're feeling called, you can share those intentions. You can speak it out loud. You can put it on a piece of paper. You can put it in the chat, whatever you're feeling called to doing. You can also share any body reveals how your body is feeling right now. I'm definitely feeling more like invigorated, a lot more warmth going through my body when I was doing this to mm, warm it up. Especially now that we're in winter, it's nice to do some quick warming of the body, being awake and alert. Okay, so we're going to move into the seven common gaps that hold light workers back from where they're at and where they're desiring to be. Because I've seen this happen for so many of my clients, friends, peers, and I just really wanna like release them from light workers so that we can really show up and be the change that we're here to see in the world. So the first gap is subconscious limiting beliefs. We're gonna spend a ton of time here doing a ton of limiting beliefs uh, clearings as well throughout. The second one is really like heart chakra blocks, visibility blocks, feeling like you're playing small, like you're in constriction energy. So important to deal with those so you can be seen by your ideal clients so you can have the amount of followers and impact in the world that you're desiring to have the third one is having an unhealthy money mindset so being in scarcity or lack even if you are kind of abundant like even if you are like okay I'm receiving 10k a month it's like yeah but is there still the thing where you're in feast or famine is there still the thing where you're just making enough to get by so any unhealthy mind, money mindset beliefs, we'll tap into those and do some clearings on those as well. The next one, number four, is lack of inspired action steps. Number five is unharmonized masculine and feminine energy. So I'll go into a little bit about what that, that means because unfortunately, a lot of people in this society that we're raised in, North America, Europe, Australia, like I've had clients all over the world, we're raised in systems where it's like this patriarchy where there's this hyper masculine energy or this heavy masculine energy of way of being to go, go, go and do, do, do and produce, produce, produce instead of having a unique harmony that's made for our body of our divine masculine and our divine feminine. And I'm going to refer to it as masculine and feminine. That's how most people at the like range that I call in for my ideal clients are speaking to it. You can also refer to it as like yin and yang energy if that feels better than feminine and masculine whatever is feeling good for you. I do want to be inclusive, but it's also like the fine balance of messaging of people are just really used to like hearing it in a specific way. So I want to like open their hearts and minds to that energy and then also like switch it and change it if they feel called to switching it to like yin and yang energy. Um, so finding that unique harmony for yourself supports you in both your business and your everyday life of not burning out, of being in flow and it feeling good for you and it feeling joyful and fun to run your business instead of like an uphill battle or really hard or like that you're just exhausted and struggling trying to get everything done. So we'll go deeper into that one. The next one, number six, is up leveling your boundaries, getting next level boundaries in your life and business because every new evolution of yourself, every next level version of yourself requires new boundaries and standards to protect you so that you can continue to grow and evolve into your next level version after that. And the final piece is consciously doing the 3D work instead of just like looking at your vision board, doing some like meditation and hoping that it all comes through. We can't just like be couch potato manifestors and hope that it all works. We do need to move in those inspired action steps and make like co-create with the universe to move forward and actually do the inspired action pieces. So we're not just like hoping it all comes to us without actually doing some of the required work for this 3D human experience that we're having right now. So I'm really excited to dive deep into those and we're gonna be doing theta healing downloads throughout. So I'm gonna share with you what theta healing is and also how to muscle test so that you can be aware of what limiting beliefs are coming up for you for the rest of your life. So you'll have muscle testing for the rest of your life and it's amazing because you can just tune into yourself to your subconscious belief system and see what's going on in there right now. So there's a bunch of different ways to muscle test. There's standing, there's with pendulums, there's with your fingers. So I'm going to show with the fingers because it's super easy to do. And it's also easy to do and like, kind of like put, even if you're like in an in-person workshop or if you're like at the grocery store wondering if this is the highest and best thing for you to eat right now, you can muscle test and it's like a super like quick thing that you can do. And it's kind of like a little stealth thing that you can do 
versus some of the other ones. So you can put your thumb and finger together and put the amount of pressure on it as if you had like a $5 bill that you don't want to blow away in the wind. So it's not like you're cutting off the circulation. You're just holding it together. And it works because our muscles are tuned in to our belief system. So if we lie, if we say a false statement, our muscles get a little bit weaker, which allows that to break. So when it stays strong and it's that full circle, it's yes. When it breaks, it's a no. And there's no maybe. It's not like, oh, it only broke a little bit versus a lot. It's a yes when it's full. It's a full circle and it stays strong. Or it's a no when it breaks. And then you're going to use your other fingers as like pliers to like <laughs> ply them apart. So you're just opening it up. And you're using the same pressure for all of your different belief systems that we're testing. We're not like really pulling hard on one because you really don't want it to be true. <laughs> it's the same kind of pressure all the time. So I'll hold it like this just so you guys can see it like with my clear background back here. So you can say something that's true to start with. So my name's Laura, whatever your name is, you can say my name is Laura and pull. So I pulled and it stayed strong because my name is Laura. That's a true statement. So you guys can try that. Then if I say, my name is Jack, it breaks because that's a false statement. So you guys can try a name that's not yours. We don't have any Jacks on here. So you can say, my name is Jack and allow it to break. And then knowing that is amazing because you can tune into your subconscious belief system to check into where exactly you're at, where your gap is between where you're at right now and where you're desiring to be. You can tune into that exact belief system that's going on instead of kind of playing like the whack-a-mole game <laughs> at like carnivals where you're like, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with my business right now, but I'm like, I'm trying to fix this and I'm trying to fix this and I'm trying to fix this and like not actually knowing exactly where to be like putting your time or attention. And sometimes half of the solution is knowing clearly what the problem is. It's been so like illuminating in my life to be able to tune in, to be like, oh, this is the next thing for me to clear. This is my belief system that's coming up. It's not exactly like this one that I heard someone else say, but it's this, this belief system is what's holding me back. So I can be super supportive for you because our subconscious belief systems are largely what's holding us back. Out of our entire mind's capacity, 5% is conscious. So desiring to have the X income months that you want, 2K a month, 5K a month, 20K a month, whatever you're desiring, that's conscious belief system to have financial freedom, to have the ability to like show up and serve all the people that you desire to be serving. That's only 5%. Having your dream life, being able to like call in your soulmate partner, being able to like travel as much as you desire when we're back into the travel place where we can, <laughs> like all those things, 5% of our conscious brain. The other 95% is just beneath the surface. That's our subconscious mind. And we're going to do a ton of work around subconscious minds tonight. So I'm super excited to do that. I'll tune into the chat. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. It works. Yes, it's amazing. I love it. Now you're empowered. You'll have that tool for the rest of your life to be able to tune in. And with some caveats, it's not a crystal ball. You can't be like, well, I make a million dollars. Like it's not foretelling the future. It's a current check-in to your current subconscious belief systems. And you can change your subconscious belief systems. It's just like the indicator to be like, okay, where on the spectrum is my limiting belief system holding me back? So it's to get really clear on what that is for you. So to go into the first gap of subconscious belief systems, we can test a number of things. So for example, you can muscle test and I'll say it out loud and then you guys can repeat after me. I am able to receive whatever your ideal amount of money is, like I'm able to receive $5,000 from a client. And then you can muscle test. So I'm able to receive $5,000 from a client. You can put in $1,000, $10,000, $20,000, whatever you're at. And just tune into that. Keep like playing with some numbers and see where you're at right now. And if you want to charge 5K for a package, and you're currently not able to receive 5K, then doing the work on receiving is super important because until you're able to receive it, until you feel like you're worthy and deserving of it and it's safe for you to receive $5,000 all at once from one client, you're not gonna call in that client. You're gonna have money objections from people on sales calls. It's gonna hold you back. So you can play with that, see exactly where your like money ceiling is right now for one client.
Okay. And then when you know what that is, or you're currently at, like you're able to receive probably like what you have before, or like a little bit more than what you have before. When you have that number of like, this is the maximum amount I'm able to receive from a client, then let's add a little bit more money to it. So if you're like, okay, well, right now I'm able to receive 4,000 from a client and I want to receive 5,000, then we're going to play with the number 5,000. If right now you're good with receiving 5,000 from a client and you want to receive 10,000 from a client, then we'll play with 10,000. So whatever number that is for you. And also all of these healing downloads work for everyone who's live and on the replay. I'm able to tune into everyone's energy. So whatever gap is currently going on for you right now, I'm also like tuning into people who are going to catch the replay at any time in the future, whenever you're watching it, it's this present moment in time. <laughs> so it's super fun to like play with time and energy and space like that. Um, so yeah, just tune in to whatever dollar amount you're desiring now. So you know where your ceiling is, where you're capped with a client and then pick a number that's above that. So if you want to do a hundred dollars more, you can do that. If you're still in like the hourly range and we'll talk about <laughs> some like energy on moving to packages a little bit later, but if you're like, okay, right now I'm at $150 an hour and I want to move to $250 an hour, you can do all those things. So just tuning into what that higher amount of money is that you're desiring. And then when you have that, you can write it down on a sheet of paper, what that higher amount is that you're desiring to receive from a client. And then we'll do some downloads. So all you have to do is say yes to receive these downloads. So do you wanna know what it looks like and feels like to receive even more from your ideal clients that you're worthy and deserving of it? that it's completely safe on all levels for you to receive even more from your clients, and that you can clear, release, and let go of any and all blocks that have been holding you back around it. Clearing, releasing, and letting go of the belief system that you're gonna be an imposter, that you'll have to prove yourself at a higher dollar amount, that they'll have higher expectations for you, and that you can clear, release, and let go of any and all fears that you won't be able to get them their results or any attachment to you getting them the results because they're paying you more money that you can clear, release, and let go of those old belief systems, fears, worries, and self-doubts around that. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And you want to know who you are and what your life looks like easily receiving this new amount of money that you're desiring from your client, that you can trust that the work that you're doing is infinitely valuable and that this financially, financial exchange that you're desiring is for you, that you get to receive it and that you can allow yourself to expand your ability to receive even more deeply so that you can receive it with ease, speed, grace, joy, and love. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. Yeah. And you want to know who you are and what your life looks like when you easily receive this money, that you know what your business looks like, what your relationships with your clients look like, when you attract people who are ready, willing, able, and excited to invest in themselves with you and the different programs or offerings that you have, that you know what your business looks like in that space, what your relationships look like in that area of your life and business. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to call in these new clients, to magnetize them into your world, and that it's time, that it's safe, and that you're able to speak to them in their exact pain point or with their exact desires in mind, to call them in and to enroll them into the perfect container for exactly where they're at on their journey right now. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And you want to clear release and let go of any and all past 
of emotions and experiences of trying to raise your rates, trying to launch something new, trying like this heavy trying energy of like, I've tried it before and it didn't work. I've tried this or I've seen other people try it and they failed. And this fear of failure and any and all fears of success, you can clearly so let go of those. And you can also forgive yourself for any and all times in the past where your business just didn't work how you wanted it to work, where things didn't work out how you were desiring them to. So you can begin with a like fresh slate in your new offering, your new program, your new package, the new energy that is going to be around it, the new way you're going to speak about it. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. Do you want to forgive anyone else who was an actor on your stage who played out parts that they needed to for you to learn your lessons so that you could get to the place that you're at right now? And if you'd like to forgive them on a level so that you can move forward and that you can mark all of these lessons as complete, you can say yes. And you want to know that you're worthy and deserving of success. If you'd like that, you can say yes. Awesome. Okay. So you guys can take some deep breaths. You can sit, take a sip of water. It's super important to be hydrated during all clearings and healings. It'll support your body. So we're going to say out loud again, so you can get your muscle test in hand ready. <laughs> so this time we're going to use the amount of money that you wrote down. So your desired amount that you want to receive from a client. So you can muscle test. I'm ready to receive that number from a client and muscle test. And then with all of those downloads, you've now cleared that gap between your old cap, the old ceiling that you had before, and now you're at your new desired amount. So if anyone didn't have that work, you can totally let me know. And we're also going to do more downloads throughout. So those were like kind of like the bulk of the things holding people back from just receiving a little bit more from their clients. And then we can also muscle test some other things just to give you clarity. Like these are big issues that tend to show up for people. So I want to like illuminate the gaps so you can at least like work on them on your own time. I'm going to share an offer at the end of how you can work on them with me if you choose to. So you can also muscle test. I am worthy and deserving of 5K a month. I'm worthy and deserving of $10,000 a month wherever you're at, whatever you're desiring. If you want to be six figures, I'm worthy and deserving of receiving $9,000 a month. It's not monthly like 8,000 something, but let's play with 9,000 to have even more. <laughs> and then you can muscle test. I have a money ceiling of 100K just to see where you're at. I have a money ceiling of $80,000. Just muscle testing to see exactly where you're at right now. So if you want to be receiving $250 a year and you have a money ceiling at 90K, then there's your gap that you currently need to work on that money ceiling that's holding you back. So you can write those down wherever your money, money ceiling's at. You can do the same thing where you're like, I'm here and I desire to be here. So I have money ceiling of $90,000 and I wanna be at $150,000. And then we'll move into the second gap which is a lot of like fear around being seen. 
So it's safer to be seen by less people. There's less possibility of haters. There's also less possibility of affecting positive ways of change when we're like, I only feel safe with like 300 people viewing me or a thousand people viewing me. That's going to hold you back from the impact of all the souls that you're here to serve. So there can be some throat chakra blocks with that. We're going to do a quick throat chakra clearing just to like support you in releasing a layer of that and then go into some of the belief systems that could also be around that as well. Because it is important because some people will be like, oh, I'm only getting this amount of people signing up for my masterclasses, my workshops, my programs, only so many people like engaging on my content, only so many people and in this like only energy or like there's just this amount of people. So one thing that's good to do just to like switch your brain around it, like a conscious piece is to be so grateful. I'm so grateful that 300 people watch my lives. I'm so grateful that 50 people signed up for this. I'm so grateful. And being in that state of gratitude and expansion. So it's like, oh, I'm so grateful for the hundred people who watch my video. And I'm super excited for when a thousand people, when 500, when whatever your next level goal is, are viewing my work. So you get to step into that. So I'll get you guys to shut your eyes. And we're going to clear a throat chakra block. So this can also be used for any area of your body. So if you're like, my throat's actually like feeling really great right now. And there's like another thing where I'm not feeling safe. So there's something in my root that I need to work on. Then you can totally work on that area first. So I'll just get you guys to shut your eyes. And if you want to do a scan of your body, you can quickly do that from the top of your head moving down. Or you can scan just your throat. Just breathing into the energies that you're discovering. Any pain, any prominent energy, any resistance. And when you're aware of that particular energy, that's the most prominent or most painful energy, an old energy that's ready to be released right now. Just put all your focus, awareness, and attention on that old energy. Just noticing where that's living in your body right now. How much space that old energy is taking up. Noticing what color it is. Noticing what emotions are tied to it. And if you were to touch that old energy that no longer serves you, what kind of temperature would it have? And what kind of texture would it have if you touched that old energy? Being really clear on what that old energy looks like. And then we're going to safely move it outside of your body, through your higher power. And fill up that space where it used to live with unconditional love and healing energy. Radiating that unconditional love out through your body as well. And cutting any and all cords, contracts, vows, commitments, bonds, oaths, or obligations to that old energy.
And now that that old energy is safely outside of your body without any attachment to you, we're going to ask it a question, just allowing the first thought, first feeling to come through. What were you trying to teach me? without judging that response we can just be grateful that we were trying to learn you're we trying to grow and you want to know what it looks like and feels like to learn this lesson to have it marked as complete through your higher power your higher power being god creator source energy the universe mother earth your higher self whatever you desire higher power to be it's receiving that support and marking this lesson as complete. Do you wanna have even deeper understanding and clarity and wisdom around what you were trying to learn? So you can integrate this lesson, you can embody this in your life, and that you know that you're worthy and deserving of understanding this right now. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And you want to know who you are and what your life looks like with this lesson. What your relationships look like, what your client relationships look like, what your business and life looks like and feels like with this deeper understanding and knowing in your life. And that you're worthy and deserving of this new life, of this new reality. And that you can receive this into your world. That you can receive even more people viewing you. You can receive more followers, more people on your email list, more people in your audience, more people engaging with you. And that you're open to shining your light even brighter. That you can be even bigger. You can take up more space. And that you know that it's time, safe on all levels. And that you're able to do this with ease. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. Do you want to know what your life looks like and feels like with this new expansion in your life that you can go live more, that you can share even more expressed messages, that you can call in and magnetize your ideal clients with your words, with your being, with your content, with your videos, that you can allow them to see you, that you can allow yourself to be seen authentically for who you are. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. Do you want to forgive yourself for any and all times in the past where you were afraid to be seen? Where you constricted? Where you shut down your throat? Where you shut down yourself or your authentic expression? That you can forgive yourself on all levels? and any and all other souls who played a role or contributed to this, where you shut down, where you played small, where you weren't feeling safe to be seen, that you can forgive everyone who played any role in this, so that you can have the freedom to move forward. And if you would like that, you can say yes. And then we can allow your higher power to transmute that old energy into unconditional love, sending it out into the ether and filling you up with unconditional love, your healing energy. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. You can take some deep <sighs> cleansing breaths, allowing that to integrate. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and take a sip of water. And just tuning into that place in your body now. And shut your eyes again if you want to like feel into your throat, feel into that body part. 
And how does that feel now? How does that feel in your body? How's your body overall feeling with all those energetic downloads? And you can share in the chat if you'd like. Just how that's feeling now. Mm. You can also tune into anything else because sometimes when we clear off one layer, another layer will come up. And you can always come back to the replay of this masterclass to clear off the next layer that's coming up, which is super fun to do. Okay, so I'm going to get you guys to do some more muscle testing just to get really clear to illuminate, illuminate that gap of exactly where you're at right now. So you can be like, okay, this is exactly where I'm at. These are the blue systems that I need to focus on and clear to move forward. So get your muscle test again. I feel safe speaking to a thousand people and you can play with that number so i feel safe speaking to 30 people i feel sp safe speaking to 3000 people wherever you're at so just tuning into that number where you feel like you're at right now cuz if right now you feel safe speaking to 400 people and you desire to be speaking to a thousand people, then that's some work that currently you have a cap on the number of people you feel safe being seen by. And then the next one we're gonna do is the number of people you're open to supporting within your audience. So people who show up, who watch what you're doing, who follow you on Facebook or Instagram, the number of people that you desire to be supporting in your audience, not just like your private containers, your private containers and everything else. So you can tune into where you kind of like feel like that number is right now or the number that you desire to be at. And then you can muscle test, I'm open to supporting 5,000 5, people in my audience. I'm open to supporting 50 people in my audience. I'm open to supporting 500 people in my audience. Muscle testing those numbers to see where you're at. And then you can muscle test. I have throat chakra blocks that are holding me back. And like roots also coming up and hearts also coming up for a number of people. So you can also muscle test. I have root chakra blocks that are holding me back. I have heart chakra blocks that are holding me back. Just to be like, oh, okay, these are the spaces where they live. This is the areas to do the deeper healing. And then we're going to move through to the third block that holds people back, unhealthy money mindset. And this can be scarcity and lack, like I mentioned earlier. It can be feeling like you can't charge too much. You can't raise your rates. You have to like, see people at $80 an hour instead of $1,000 a package or $5,000 a package or $10,000 a package. And it's important to like at a conscious level to understand why packages and programs work so well. So when we're in a place of serving from our overflow, when we are financially stable and financially free, then we can support other people at other levels when we're feeling called to from our overflow. And one of the best ways that I've done that, that I've supported my clients in doing that, that I see my peers and my mentors doing that is having private packages and programs or high level group packages and programs that support your people. So right now, if you don't have a ton of followers, doing private is a great place to start, higher end private. And it is true that high end is low maintenance. So it's amazing the caliber of people that you draw in who are ready and willing to able to invest at $1,000 a package, $10,000 a package, $20,000 a package, that they're at a deeper level of personal development work, that they desire to be in a container and they understand the value of being a transformational container with you from start to finish, where they choose to step into that next level version of themselves and have that spaciousness to be supported while they expand 
on their journey. So private packages and programs are awesome because then you can literally see, okay, if I desire to have this amount of money in my business this month, this amount of money in my business in the year, and this kind of comes into the conscious 3D work pieces, that having those things mapped out is so important. That's why I've created templates for like all of my clients to like tune into those dollar amounts to be like, okay, let's feed. Does this amount a month feed this amount a year? Okay, how many clients do I need to have at these different rates? And it's a lot easier to be like, okay, I would need 20 private clients in the run of the year to receive this amount of money. It's a lot easier than being like, oh, if I do a ton of one-off one-hour sessions, that's so many more people than just 20 people on a like one-off session. So just tuning into the energy of your private program or package, what feels good for you to receive? Like how many calls feels good? Do you want to give email or WhatsApp support or Voxer or any other way that you want to like communicate with people, texting, sometimes people do that. Do you have a digital library that you can throw in with that? What are all the different ways that you can like really support your private people so that it feels really good for you, feels really good for them? And the reason, again, that we can move away from those like one-off hourly or from low packages and program rates is because this work transforms people's lives for the rest of their lives. So it's literally priceless. It's not like my massage where I'm like, okay, I got a massage and it felt great. And I'm going to be back in two weeks to get another massage. <laughs> it doesn't have the like lifelong, you're good for forever on that belief system kind of thing, or on that new mindset trajectory or that new program that you're helping someone stay accountable to. So it literally changes people's lives for the rest of their lives, the work that light workers do. It changes the people's lives around them because that one person is now going to show up as a different mother, father, sister, brother, coworker, healer in their world. Like they're going to be such a different person. It's going to affect all the generations that move through them. It's going to affect all their future lifetimes. If you believe in past lives and future lives, we get to clear these things and help them heal and change their way of being that affects the whole world in a positive way. Just affecting their vibration shifts the world. So it's priceless work that light workers are doing here. And we get to receive for that because it's not just one hour and one little segment of our time. It's priceless transformation that people get to receive. All right. So definitely looking at the ways that you can serve people to receive the abundance that you desire is super important. And then doing some of the belief system work again for that. So we'll get you guys to muscle test, get your fingers ready and feel into how much you desire your packages to be. And then you can muscle test. I am worthy of selling a $2,000 package. I'm worthy of selling a $20,000 package. I'm worthy of selling a $5,000 package, wherever you feel like you're at. And play with that. Another thing that can pop up from people, and this is kind of coming up for some people's energies, where you feel worthy of it, but it's like the deserving piece. So you can muscle test, I'm worthy and deserving of selling a $5,000 package and see if it's the deserving piece. That's like, oh no, I'm not feeling deserving of it. Because then there's deeper levels to heal there. So those would be the areas to focus on and work on. Um, another piece that can hold people back is their relationship with their friends and family and the fear that if they make more money, then they're going to get rejected or judged. So you can muscle test to see which of those are in your subconscious system that have been holding you back so we can clear them. So you can muscle test when I make more money, my family will reject me. And then there's variations of that. So you can also muscle test when I make more money, my friends will reject me. So you can play with family or friends or your partner. Sometimes that's a thing where women especially are nervous to make more money than their partner. And then you can play with other things. So if you're not, if it's not rejection, if that's like not exactly the word that is going to like 
be the piece that's holding you back. You can also muscle test. When I make more money, my family and friends will judge me. When I make more money, my family or friends will abandon me. Or you can also muscle test not love me. Like there's a fear coming up there where it's when I make more money, something bad will happen. I won't be able to relate to them. They're not going to be able to relate to me. They're going to judge me. They're going to think that I'm bad or evil or whatever, fill in the blank. And doing the work on those pieces just to clear those out. Then you can also muscle test it's safe to raise my rates. And then be like, oh, okay, I don't feel like it's safe to raise my rates, or I do feel like it's safe to raise my rates. It's just like the worthy and the fears, like those are the pieces that I have to work on. You can also muscle test it's time to raise my rates because sometimes people are like, oh my gosh, I'm not sure if I can like do it right now in a pandemic or around Christmas or around whatever. And like they make excuses of why it's not time. And that sounds good. Yeah, the replay will be up. So you can definitely pop off and see it in the email that goes out to everyone. And then another really powerful piece that you can do is just take a deep breath, shut your eyes and visualize money as a person. And if money was a person in front of you, what do they look like? What do they feel like? What's the relationship with you feel like? And just tuning into that. What are they wearing? What kind of environment is around them? And just tuning into that feeling. And then you can open your eyes. And think of how you do want to feel about money, how you want to see money, how you want to visualize money. Because ideally, we're seeing money as a best friend, as a lover, as a partner on our journey who's like always there and like feels really good and the relationship feels really good. And it's not like, oh, they come or go, or sometimes they reject me and sometimes they leave. Like it gets to be an amazing best friend, like celebration, supporter, amazing being in your life. And anything that's not that, we get to clear off because it's just our old belief systems, old stories that are being projected onto money because money is just an energy. And we get to co-create different experiences with money, more loving and supportive relationships with money where it really does feel like money's our best friend or our lover or like the best person that we've ever met. <laughs> so just marking that down if you want to put down in your journal how do you currently see and experience money just so you can like tune into that really quickly and be like oh yeah I remember like I saw them as a sleazy car salesman or I saw them like being kind of mean or I saw them rejecting me just writing down a couple of those pieces so you can mark those down just so you can be like this is exactly where I'm at being really clear on where you're at right now is going to be so supportive for you and then we'll move into the fourth gap which is a lack of inspired action steps so that can be so many things where people are feeling like they have to follow a cookie cutter mold where a guru once said this ABC method or a coach or a marketer or fill in the blank person that they hired said, you have to do it this way. You have to do it ABC. 
and then you were trying to do it ABC, but then ABC wasn't working for you because every human's unique. Just like we require different foods, like the blood type diets, like, oh yeah, literally like every type of food is different for the different human being. Human design, we have different signs. Myers-Briggs, we have different Myers-Briggs personality types. There's no one size fits all for every single human. So that's the same for our strategies, for running our businesses. It's the same for how we're setting up our client calls, how we run our business, how we're co-creating the life of our dreams into our business. So while ABC might work amazingly for that one person or most of their people who follow them, doesn't necessarily mean that it works for you. And I don't want you to feel like there's something wrong with you or that you're not good enough or that you're broken or something's damaged if that ABC method's not working for you. There's so many different things, so many different pathways, so many different ways to achieve success. And a big way of allowing yourself to have the most useful path is tuning into your unique inspired action steps. Because maybe B, Q, O, L is your like most ideal path that you need to like listen and tune in to your body, to your intuition, to your higher self, to really follow that, to be like, okay, this is what's feeling good for me. This is what's in my most inspired action step. So you get to like tune into that. And I love teaching my clients like how to tune into themselves, how to like go deeper into those pieces that you are moving in inspired action instead of a fear or a should, or I'm trying to do this, or I have to do this where they're like too busy looking at other people's lanes, trying to do what other people are doing that are successful, that they're watching on Facebook or Instagram or that they've like literally seen other people who they've invested with do. And it's like, it's not working for them the same way. So it's important to like, forgive yourself, give yourself space and grace and love yourself and be like, okay, cool. I tried all these different ways. I learned so many lessons by following all these different paths and different ways of being awesome, cool. Now I get to tune into myself and move from my inspired action steps instead of comparing myself to other people or their journey or what they're doing to truly tune in and to do what's good for me, regardless of what other people are going to say, or if they're going to think that you're crazy or fill in the blank, whatever, (laughs) that you get to move in your inspired action steps because you trust yourself. So we can do some downloads on that. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to trust yourself? to heal and let go of the past times in your life where you thought you were moving an inspired action, where you thought you were following your inspired action step, but it was really the come from place, the place that originated was from fear or scarcity or not good enoughness. That you can forgive all of that completely in all levels and create more space in your life and business right now to move in your unique inspired action steps. They you can allow yourself to do so with ease. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And if you want to know who you are and what your life looks like, moving in your unique inspired action steps, they can allow yourself to have deeper levels of compassion and resilience and grit as you move on your unique path, as you co-create that space for yourself. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And then something that you can muscle test for that just to see if like the trust piece is up for you right now. You can muscle test, I trust myself, move in inspired action steps. Because sometimes it can be scary. Sometimes like our human can be really fucking scared about what our like soul level is like showing us that we can do or like that nudge, like, like feeling that it's like post about this or go do this or move here or start working with these people. Sometimes it can be really scary to be like, oh my God, (laughs) my soul is telling me to do these things and I've never done it before and I don't know how. So it's important to just love ourselves and be like, okay, soothe ourselves, do whatever we need to do to like support the human, to clear the limiting belief systems that have been holding us back around it so that we can move forward with ease. 
And another thing I want to mention, especially because like the how piece comes up and it comes up over and over and over. It comes up for me still and I need to remind myself, yeah, moving this by my inspired action step is what's going to get me there the quickest. And I don't need to know the how. Like it can be so powerful to really just like let go and surrender to your path and to deepen that surrender and to deepen that trust. So that's something that you get to continue to grow and evolve on in your journey. And one thing that tends to like click in for my clients and like peers and friends that I share this with is the story of like, if you were going to travel from one side of your country to the other, you're going to go on a road trip. So you need to know how you need to know how to get from point A to point B. And it's a blessing that we have GPS that tells us one step at a time. It's a blessing that we have signs on the side of the road that tell us to turn here now, to tell us that we need to be at this speed going on this direction for this amount of time. That's all really supportive for us. So it's really amazing that our internal guidance system also gives us one step at a time. Turn here, help this person, share this message one step at a time we're given those pieces or a couple steps at a time like those are really supportive for us it would not feel really good to be like okay you want it all now you want to know all the things about your entire life from now on (laughs) all now okay so it would essentially be like going on that trip and be like in the next hour I'm going to tell you every road sign every turn every speed that you need to be at from now until you reach your final destination on the other side of the country but there's not going to be any signs. We're getting all of it now. We're hearing it all in the exact order right now, unless you have a photographic memory, which I guess would be the only situation in which that wouldn't be horrible. (laughs) But it still wouldn't feel as good as the nice little GPS system telling you to turn here in 300 meters. To turn here now, that's way more useful. That's way more supportive for us. So it's amazing to just like let go of the how and to trust and surrender even more deeply into our unique inspired action steps because our heart's desires were put in us for a reason. They're all here for us. We get to show up and move in those inspired action steps to receive everything that our heart and our soul is calling us to have, to do, to be here in this world. And we get to receive it with ease by following that inspired action, one baby step at a time and some leaps of faith here and there. And it's not here for us. Our heart's desires are not here for us to like have regret and resentment at the end of our life. We get to show up and receive them. And then moving into gap number five that I see is that like unharmonized masculine and feminine energy. So I know I talked about it a little bit earlier, but that hyper masculine energy that I find a lot of women, especially because a lot of women come to work with me, they tend to be in that overachiever mode. And I'm a super overachiever. Like I get it. It's awesome. But in the unhealthy space of being in like hyperdrive of like on a treadmill all the time, not listening to our intuition, not taking breaks, not being able to like relax or get enough sleep, or have time for creativity, or just like divine feminine flow, and being our chaotic selves, like the hyper masculine energy, and the structure of that, and like the go, 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 and do, 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 produce, 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 tends to be really unsupportive for most women who feel called to my work, who feel called to my messages, so there's deeper work that can come up, where it can be just like tuning in to your divine feminine, starting to build that love and connection and trust with receiving, with being wild and free, with flowing in the way that you're called to. So there's work in that piece that tends to be the first big piece. And then once you've done that work of divine feminine and tuning into it and flowing and being in that place, then you can also harmonize it back in with your masculine. So you have your divine harmony of both your divine masculine and your divine feminine energies at any point in time on your journey. So sometimes there are times where it's really important to be in a lot of like masculine energy. So it could be like when you're launching something in your business, you feel like you're 90% masculine, 10% feminine. And then there's times where you're coasting in your business. And I've loved doing this in my life where I'm like, I feel like I'm like 95% feminine, 
5% masculine, coasting in my business, traveling the world, going really deep dive feminine. And that's been amazing. And then there's times where it's like very much kind of like in the balance in the middle. And I don't really love the word balance because most people perceive balance as like, if it's a teeter totter, it's 50, 50, like the weights have to be equal on the scale or like, if it's a pie thing, it's like 50, 50 or like 70, 30, like that has to be some kind of thing. And then it's structured there that now we have to stick, stick with this. Otherwise it doesn't work. And what I really love about like the energy of harmony is that it gets to flow, it gets to move. In one moment, I can be very masculine energy. And in the next, I can be very feminine or I can be very like middle ground where it's like I'm embodying both. And it gives ourselves like this like permission and freedom to shift and change throughout our day on breaks to go in like super feminine flow and like dance for half an hour, like to give ourselves permission that we're not just one thing all the time and that we don't have to stay in this like old paradigm of black and white where it's this or it's that because that's super constricting and we don't need to liberalize like that we get to be on this huge beautiful spectrum and to play and flow in every second of our day into the divine support that we're feeling called to just be in that's the most like powerful for us that gets like the job done quickly that's the most effective for us that like supports our body I know that when I was in corporate and like burning out being on my hypermasculine energy all day long, and then in my first day, like first year in business full time, trying to like do, 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 go, 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 like get the business working, get enough money. Like I'm an ex account. Like I know that it's amazing for businesses just to like break it even in the first year. And that in 10 years, out of all the businesses that start, like 4% will be lasting. So it's super important to be in our masculine, to create things, to produce things, and also tune into our bodies so we're not creating adrenal fatigue, so we're not burning out, so we can still enjoy our lives and come from the like conscious decision. I'm choosing my life to look like this. I'm co-creating it in this way, and these are the energies that will support me in doing that. So that's super important. And then there's also like deeper pieces that I also go into in my course around like healing the masculine energy that's hurt us, like our own masculine energy that's hurt us where we're like, oh yeah, when I go into my masculine energy, I tend to go into like, like (laughs) that workaholic mode, that overgiving energy that I self-sacrifice into like I'm depleted energy. And then some clients have the piece where they go so much in their feminine that they're really scared to like add in their masculine again. So another like way I've shared talking about that is like if it's making soup, if you're like, okay, I'm going to add in a little bit of this and then a little bit of that. Okay. And then this flavor tastes like this. Okay. So then what if I add in a little bit more of this? What if I play with this, like mix it up and play with it and be like, okay, adding in a little bit more feminine. Okay, and then that feels good. But then, okay, I'm still not getting the results of my business I want in. Let's add in this much masculine. Okay, now I'm like not getting out of sleep and it doesn't feel good. So let's add some more feminine and, and like play with that to be like, okay, this is the harmony that tends to work the majority of the time with me operating in my business, flowing through my morning rituals, throughout my day, throughout the breaks of my day that support me and that continue to like fill my cup so that you can be truly serving in your business through an overflow instead of from a place of like lack or scarcity or a depleted shell of yourself. Like that's not a good place to be serving the world in. And right now the world needs light workers who are taking care of themselves, who are serving from the overflow and who can also be like, okay, I'm really being called to go inward right now. Like I just got off my moon and there were days where it's like, okay, you're being called to reflect and clear out things for yourself and the collective. And we're like letting go of 2020 energy and we're doing things to let go to create space for all these new things and giving yourself permission. Like I love supporting the women in my world, create space for when they're on their moon. Like, instead of being like, oh yeah, I have to work all the time and I have to see my clients and I have to be working on projects. Be like, no, like you can create space. You can block off the time. And then if you're feeling energized, if you're feeling called to it and it's coming from a place of like, oh, I'm so inspired to do this. And I'm like, like, it's going to fill me up and it's just going to light me up to do this. Then you get to do that work, but you don't have to. And I feel like that's an important piece that sometimes gets missed is that we get 
to choose all these things. And then it doesn't have to be the stuck thing where, oh, I can't work on my period. Oh, I can't work on the days that I've blocked off. It gets to be from a place of like amazing masculine structure that creates your packages, your programs, the like typical organization of your week, your month with people, with yourself, with your clients. And then you get to free flow in that. And like really trusting that that masculine structure provides that freedom, provides that support. And we can feel safe adding that back in and healing the places where we hurt ourselves with masculine energy in the past, where we felt hurt by other people's masculine energy or like the collective belief system around the patriarchy and what we should be doing. So there's deeper levels of healing to do there as well, which I love to get into. Um, so something that you can muscle test for that is I feel safe with masculine energy. You can also muscle test, I feel safe with my masculine energy. And this one's coming up. I'm feeling called to play with my divine feminine energy. And then you can just tune into that, how you're feeling. And it was really fun because um, towards the end of the three month program for increase your impact and income that we just like finished with a lot of people were like, whoa, we just like expanded a ton. We've grown a lot and I'm being called to like rest and receive and like reap the rewards. It's kind of like the harvest period where it's like they planted all the seeds, they did all the work, they nourished the soil, they like now get to like harvest and receive. So it was really fun to like see them acknowledge and tune into their body and like have that just happening for themselves that they like got to deepen in our container together that they were like, okay, I'm feeling called to receive now. So if you're feeling called to receive now, trust that, tune into that. There are things that line up with like the collective energy. So it's like, okay, am I feeling called to go a little bit deeper into my feminine? Am I feeling called to do the work to clear off the old fears where like feminine's bad or it's weak or it's not as strong or it's not as good as masculine energy? to like do that work so that you can feel safe in harmonizing your energies. And then number six is having outdated boundaries. And this can be a thing where we're always deepening our boundaries. Like I feel like I'm on like level 3 million of boundaries at this point <laughs> where we get to keep being like, okay, like this is a little bit overgiving or this is like my perfectionist showing up and my people pleaser showing up where I'm doing all of these extra things or I've allowed myself to be like really accessible to a bunch of people, even free people, even like random people who want to like find me on the internet that at different levels will create new levels of boundaries. And at every, like every time you up level, every time that you get to this like next level version of yourself, it's important to check in with those boundaries to be like, okay, where am I at now? What's feeling good now? Is it still like filling me up to do this, to offer this, to do these things in the past might have filled me up and now they don't. So sometimes it's looking at your self-care rituals and shifting those around and being like, actually, this is a new standard of self-care. Like I've had that over the years where it's like, okay, cool. Like this used to feel really good for me. And actually that's not like feeding me anymore. Now I do massages twice a month and I do like 90 minute massages. It was really fun earlier this year to switch into 90 minute massages instead of one hour massages and then to do like twice a month, 90 minute massages. And that's been great because it's like human contact's not really a thing right now. So it's like my body has felt really good receiving even more massage. So it's looking at those things, both that we get to like treat ourselves with and being like, okay, well maybe when I started my business, it felt good to offer unlimited email support and Voxer support. And now it feels better to be like, there's no email support and Voxer support. I get back with you within 48 hours instead of like, it's unlimited and I'm there right in your pocket and I'm there all the time. So it's creating those boundaries that will support you into your next level because your body is going to protect you from going into a place where you're like, oh my God, this is gonna burn me out. And I've been in rooms with six figure people who did not allocate in their day, in their hours, in their month, the time that it would take to provide the additional support outside of their hour calls, even their hour calls. Sometimes people didn't allocate that where they're like, oh my God, I signed on too many private clients. I'm seeing them all weekly and like, there's just so many hours. And now I'm like running out of money and I need more money 
like hire a VA or hire a support coach, but like I've already maxed myself out in private. So I've also created templates for that like conscious 3D work of planning to be like, okay, at this amount of money for this package, this is the amount of hours that I have committed to in my weekly calls or twice a month calls or whatever you're playing with for your calls. And then this is the estimated amount of time I'm going to support them in additional support. If that's email support, boxer support, WhatsApp support, whatever you're doing, but it's all consciously created. And you're not just like getting to three months into it and be like, oh my gosh, I'm like working myself like a dog. And I'm still in that unconscious pattern of being depleted and having lack and scarcity and those kind of things. So it's amazing that our bodies won't let us get to our next level sometimes because we need to up- update and up level our boundaries to support ourselves at that level. So if you're at the place right now where like a ton of people are just messaging you and like messenger and you feel bad saying no to like coffee dates, like free coffee dates where they pick your brain and stuff, like you're going to have to up level your boundaries there so that you can feel good and safe and solid there. Cause when you hit your next level, even more people will be at that space. So if that means handing it off to a VA, if that means having like a canned message where you're essentially like, Hey, I don't offer free chats, but if you would like to get an on a consult call or whatever your sales call is to discuss how we could work together and it's this level of investment, let me know and I'll send you the booking link and like switching your energy into those kind of places. So just tune into your boundaries. I'll give you a minute just to reflect on where you're at right now, where it feels like you're overgiving, where it feels like it's draining you. So if that's like oh, you committed to like two hour calls with people and it's actually feeling like by the end of it, you're just drained. If you committed to 90 minutes or if like your hour calls go away more than an hour, just tuning into that and feeling into where right now you're overgiving and it doesn't feel good in your business. And if you want to, you can also like pop into the comments, into the chat, where you feel the like number one boundary is that you need to up level. So if you want to be like, I need to be consistent with my time and get off the phone at exactly one hour. If I need to no longer give free coffee talk conversations with people who aren't going to become clients who I thought would be clients, but now they kind of just see me as a friend. And now that's like not working. If you have a boundary of, I need to raise my rates because it's not feeling good to receive this amount of money anymore. So you can speak that into the world by popping it into the comments. And you don't have to put them all, just like the most prominent one or one that you feel safe sharing. You can totally do that. And if there's any new standards in your life where you're like, yeah, I need to have a standard where I'm only eating organic. I need to have a standard where I move my body every day. I need to have a standard where only this caliber of people become clients and I'm no longer available to energy vampires, to people who don't show up, who don't respect me, who fill in the blank negative things about people that you don't want to have in your free world or in your like paid world. Getting really clear on what those new standards are and what those new boundaries will be. And sometimes a new boundary is like ensuring that everyone fills in an application before they get on a sales call with you to ensure they're the best fit. So just marking some of those pieces down. And it could be a new standard where you're not working on the weekends, where you literally turn off all the things and you won't look at it on the weekend. We're no longer using the word unlimited, unlimited Voxer support. It's like, no, this is how we use Voxer. 
for a couple minutes of messages back and forth when there's urgent issues coming up. And it's not like, oh, we're new best friends and you can talk to me all day and you can send me memes and you can tell me updates of your day as it goes along. It's like, no, that's not what Boxer supports for. But you get to pre-frame things and your boundaries with the new people entering your world. And with the existing people who have been treating you one way for a long time and that you're feeling is not healthy or not supportive for either of you anymore and you get to upgrade those boundaries there. And then the seventh gap that holds people back is that they're not doing the conscious 3D work. So I've kind of alluded to the conscious 3D work throughout of actually moving in our inspired action steps and having those templates or a way that you map it out. So I've created templates because I was used to like accounting in Excel and my brain just like works <laughs> with like math and numbers. Um, so I created several different Excel templates of like number of hours that you're working in a week or in a month with your clients, the amount of money that that's bringing in, amount of cash flow that's bringing in versus sales, like looking at those pieces to ensure that it's all mapped together and that they all work and flow together. So you're not like burning yourself out and not having enough money for everything that you're desiring. Um, or being able to cover your expenses because your expenses might grow as your business grows and being able to forecast that and feel into that to ensure that you're like in a more healthy, supportive place in your business with your money. So doing the conscious duty work can also look like creating your ideal client list, creating your ideal life vision statement and having these things that support you where you've written down, where you've tuned into the energy of it and you've consciously decided to co-create this into your world and I love giving this as homework to my clients because another superpower I have is like when specific words feel out of place like when specific things are like out of alignment with who they are who they are now or who they're like desiring to be I get to like basically see it like a neon sign where I can just be like okay shift this word so instead of desiring to be out of debt desiring to be financially free because the universe isn't like hearing that I don't want to be overweight I don't want to have debt it's hearing debt overweight, for example, instead of I desire to be at my optimal, healthy, most vital expression of my body and whatever that is, like that allowing yourself to be in alignment with that and in alignment with financial freedom, financial security, with $10,000 in your bank, like whatever that number is, whatever that feeling is, getting clarity on those pieces that you're calling that in with clarity because focusing what you're desiring, like being really focused and clear on what you're choosing to manifest into your world brings it to you even faster and with more ease, which is super fun. And I'm going to be doing another like client case study tomorrow where an amazing client of mine called in their exact soulmate clients. Like I did one with um, Whitley last week and it's also on the sales page that I'm about to show you guys for anyone who does want next steps um, where she called in the exact soulmate clients. And I literally like went through I think on like a 40 minute Facebook live within our group, like went over all of the things that she wrote down, like her homework that she had done and gave her feedback on the energy of it so that she could tweak it so that she was in super alignment with it. And it came into her world within like weeks. Like it was so fucking fast between her doing the homework and her getting to receive it into her world, which was super fun. So doing that conscious work to call these things into your world and to plan for how your business gets to be how you desire it to be how you get to receive it and I'm like choosing receive instead of like want because want like I want my business to do this implies lack energy so those little pieces and those little tweaks where it's like there's two millimeter shifts that two millimeter course correction brings you in a totally different world than what it would have been so that's what I like love supporting my clients with especially in like doing their homework and showing up to the work so I am going to share some next steps for anyone who is feeling called to doing this conscious duty work, who is feeling called to release and let go of their old subconscious, <laughs> subconscious limiting beliefs that have been holding them back so you can truly show up and serve the people that you feel called to in this world. So I'm going to get my VA to pop that into the comments. I'm going to share my screen. So she'll also put it into the Facebook live for anyone who's watching there as well. And I always have like a million things open on my screen. <laughs> so 
we'll get that window. We'll just click our thing. Ha -ha. Mm -hmm. Is anyone else like me and like totally has a million screens open like all the time? <laughs> there and then connie do you want to give me a thumbs up that you're able to see the share screen cool yay awesome so this is the increase your impact and income course and it's a six week coaching and healing container so that you can increase your impact and income to wherever you desire which has been super super fun because the people that were in the seven week container first um, literally set their intentions to be seen more and they were seen more to have their first 2k month or 3k month or 5k month, whatever they had like set their intentions for, they received like the people who showed up to all the calls, who showed up live, who did the work, who said yes to receiving the downloads, who did their homework, got their results, which I'm like so excited about. And so like thankful for that. I get to attract in these amazing soulmate clients who show up and do the work. Um, so like I was saying, I just recently did um a case study call with Whitley and she went all about how awesome that was she like three times her ROI within this container that we did earlier in the summer um we're going to do more um case studies throughout the next week coming as well so I'm super excited to share all the amazing testimonials with you guys about this as well so what this container is is a space to clear all these gaps so everything that you just became aware of of like oh this is exactly where I'm at I'm here right now and I desire to be over here. Okay, all those gaps that I just illuminated in all of these different areas of your subconscious limiting beliefs, visibility and throat chakra blocks, and also like body blocks. It's just, we tend to move a little bit more into throat chakra because people want to be more visible. Um, but we also do other areas that come up for people as well. The unhealthy money mindset into a healthy supportive money mindset, lack of inspired action into moving in your own unique inspired action, unharmonized masculine energies, into like your divine, like harmonized masculine and feminine energies, your like outdated boundaries into your like upgraded boundaries and standards for your life and into like not doing the conscious 3D work into doing the conscious 3D work in a way that is supportive and fun for you. And you get like templates and tools that support you in actually moving in those baby steps that will move you forward. And that create this like really solid foundation to create the level of income that you desire. So all of these different things we go deeper into in this course to really like heal what's been holding you back, release and let go of the old subconscious limiting belief systems that aren't supportive for you here. So you can just like easily be in alignment with what you are desiring and close these gaps with ease. So here's what you get woo, during the container. So you get video lessons. So you'll get immediate access to the seven week increase your impact and income course, which includes six video modules plus bonus videos. So the reason why like the first iteration we did this was like seven weeks is because I was launching it around the time like that Black Lives Matter happened. And I was like, okay, let's like pause the launch, focus on the important things going on in the world and focus there first. So I added in some extra calls for the people who had joined already. So I gave them like a bonus beginning call. And I also added in a bunch of like hot seat calls and stuff like that. So there's additional videos in there. That's why I'm like, it's kind of more than like seven weeks of content, but that's kind of like the energy we were in. We're kind of just like in this expansion of even more, but we did get the results within the six weeks. And I do want people to like get the most bang for their buck and like ease and speed and grace is so what I'm about. So you guys can and will receive these benefits in a six week container. So the way that this is going to work is that you'll have access to all of these like amazing videos. You can like jump in now and binge watch them if you want to. The way that I'm going to recommend that you do it is watch the module video before we have our module call. So that will be the most supportive for you. You can also just join the actual live calls and not go back and watch the other videos. I highly recommend watching the videos because that'll clear off the first layers of subconscious belief systems that have been holding you back. It'll give you the lessons and the tools that you need. And then we can go even deeper in our live calls to clear the next layer that's holding you back. So just like onions where it's like, oh, there's different levels and different layers of these things. 
it's important to clear as much as you can to get as fast and as far as you want on your journey. So you can have the ability to do this course however you want. And this is the way that you'll get like the most out of it is watching the video and then coming to the call live to go even deeper. So we're gonna have every single week for those six weeks, 90 minute calls to dive even deeper into clearing those limiting beliefs that have been holding you back. You'll receive lessons and healing downloads to support you so you can become this abundant version of yourself that you can choose to easily receive the amount of money that you're desiring and the impact in the world that you're desiring to create. And you'll also have access to a Facebook community, which is an amazing community of support, like beings that get to like come together in these containers. And I've been doing groups for years. Like I love that they feel like they're a soul family, that they get to like really be with each other on their journey, especially as entrepreneurs. Sometimes this can feel like lonely and isolated, especially in 2020 with like not being able to like have bigger communities of people in person. So it really feels like an amazing soul fam that you get to like be with on your journey. So this is a private group where you get support with accountability, with help with any challenges that come up. You can post your homework for feedback and I go live with like details there as well. Um, some healing downloads that you need, whatever you're needing to like move forward and build momentum in between calls. That's what the Facebook community is for. And then here's some things that you can expect. So I'll let you guys go into that deeper. Um, you'll have the link in the replay as well in your email for anyone who isn't catching this live. So it's all of these modules that we just talked about. And going deeper into those places. So the visibility and throat chakra blocks and healthy money mindset, lack of inspired action, unharmonized masculine feminine energies, outdated boundaries, and not doing the conscious duty work. And throughout every single one of these modules, we're healing and clearing out the old limiting belief systems and aligning you with what is supportive for you. So and I love bonuses. I love receiving bonuses and I love giving bonuses. So you also get right now when you join the Manifesting 101 workshop, which is a three-hour digital workshop that allows you to go into like your dream life, like what your heart is like calling you to like co-create into this world where you can create your unique dream life list and your life vision statement that will support you. Um, where you can clear release and let go of the old blocks that have been holding you back from manifesting it so far so you can receive it especially that we're like stepping into new energy like I love that we're in December 21st right now and we're going into 2021 like you get to co-create whatever you desire so I'm really excited to offer this as a bonus as well as the clearing money box 101 workshop and during this workshop you do a lot of work just in clearing off the negative beliefs and stories and limitations that you have around money, debt, spending, saving, fill in the blank, stuff about money. You can just clear release and let go of those, that it's not holding you back anymore. This is the place where you can like heal how you see money, which is super empowering, like to see money one way. So you got to see money how you currently are right now. You made some notes about it today. And then to clear it off and step into the next level that you're desiring. So I love supporting people with all those bonuses. And then you also have an early bird right now. So the early bird investment is $9.97 until December 22nd. So that's in about one day and seven hours from now. And then the investment will increase to 1,111 because I love angel numbers. <laughs> so when you join the course, you'll get the digital course from the summer and all the bonus content. And that alone is $9.97 all packaged up and people have bought just the digital course and loved it. Um, so you'll get all of that immediately. So if you want to start binging that before our first call, you can totally do that. Plus you'll get the six live group coaching and healing calls that are in that six week container with us. And that's a value of 1,111. Plus you get the Facebook community, which is priceless. And I love that like such amazing connections get met there. And like even groups that I've done years ago, like I can still see that they're friends with each other and that they like comment on each other's posts. And it like lights my heart up like <laughs> that I get to help co-create connections with like soul fam so that's super fun plus the bonuses of clearing money blocks and manifesting 101 so the total value of all of this is 2255 but when you invest today it's only 997 and there's also 
a payment plan. So if you're like, I don't want to do pay in full, you can also do free monthly payments of $3.97 and the buy nine links are right there. You can learn more about me. And when you get instant access to the pre-recorded digital courses and bonuses, you can like watch it right now. So if you want to watch it right now, you can totally do that. The Facebook group is officially open. So if you have any questions about anything that we talked about today or that um, if you watch like the first module and you have questions or if you're starting to do the homework and you want feedback on your homework, you can totally put it in the group because that's open right now. And then our live calls begin December 28th and that's 6 p.m. Eastern or 3 Pacific. And then they go through January and into the first week of February. So you'll have access to all of those live calls. And then the Facebook group will be open until February 5th. So again, you can buy it there. You can see Whitley's case study here, Natalie's testimonial here, and you'll see all the things through that link. So I'm going to integrate all of those changes that you guys got to receive through today's masterclass. And I can also offer you a general healing for any and all other areas of your body, life, and business that are ready to be healed right now. And filling you up with your higher powers, unconditional love, compassion, peace, and prosperity. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And take some deep cleansing breaths. <sighs> you can tune into how that's feeling in your body. If you want to share how that's feeling, you can let me know in the chat or in the comments. It's mm. feeling so good and light in my body. And definitely keep being hydrated. Water is super supportive for our bodies. Just integrate that work to support our bodies and clearing anything else out. <sighs> Beautiful. I want to thank you guys so much for showing up, for doing this work, for receiving these energies into your world for being the change for yourself and others. I really appreciate who you are for spending this time with me and for doing this work for yourself to create even more impact and income in the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You can feel free to share this video with any friends, any loved ones. If you wanna like tag them, if you're on Facebook, you can tag them in the chat. You can like take the URL, especially if you're watching the replay and you have the YouTube video, you can share that with anyone who desires it. And thank you for sharing this in the world. I appreciate you for helping me share my messages out there. And I also have an affiliate program, which is super fun because I've been doing this work, these masterclasses so much this year. So people who do desire to share this with people and receive 250 US dollars in return for anyone who desires to step into one of my paid containers into the seven week course, they can definitely receive money for doing that. I love creating win-win-win scenarios where it's a win for me, it's a win for you, it's a win for the souls involved. So if you're feeling called to that, you can also send me an email back if you're catching the replay. You can send me a personal message on Facebook or Instagram, wherever you're at, and we can get you signed up with the affiliate program if that's feeling good for you, if you'd like to receive passive income. And it feels so good to receive passive income. Like <clears throat> I think I've received like thousands of dollars of just like being an affiliate this year. So if that's the way that you desire to receive more money into your world, you can definitely do that. Tuning into the chat. Awesome. Yay. Sending you so much love. Thank you guys so much for being here, for showing up to do amazing things in the world. And I'm sending you guys all so, so, so much love and light. Bye.